Greetings to another video. Today is going to be my seven best value for money cycling items. So I've done a little bit of math this morning, worked out what the item costs, how long I've had it. So basically the cost per ride, and this is based on me riding between, I've checked on Strava, 250 to 260 rides per year. So the first thing, Shimano GRX. I love this thing. It's So it's 11 speed, it's a 4630 crank. It's just, I think it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's GRX 600. I've got it on my gravel bike and I sometimes put it on my road bike when I've got like really hilly days because it's lower gearing, so it's a 4630. So that just means that you can just ride so much easier. You don't have to like grind as much, you can spin. This costs, I think I've checked online, between like 90 and 120. So based on the fact that I think I paid, I checked, it was like 100 pounds when I bought mine. I've had it for two years. Um, and on, based on those rides, 20p per ride. Definitely worth it to be able to get up pretty much any climb. I love this thing, I love it a lot. The second thing, you're gonna be like, Katie, we know you love this thing, shut up about it, we've heard it, we've heard it before, but I have to share it in this because I it worked out an absolute bargain. My little Topi Hexes multi-tool with the really good tire levers. So this retails for 25 pounds. I didn't realize I've had it for seven years seven whole years. That per ride works out at 0.018 pence. Absolute bargain. It's the, I think it's the best multi-tool you can buy. It's got a chain breaker, it's got tire levers, it's just got everything that you could ever need in any situation on your bike. And the next one, a lot of you will disagree with me on this, and that is Strava Premium. I've been paying for Strava Premium probably since the second year I was on Strava, so that was like, what, eight years maybe? Because, and this is the main reason, I love Strava. I find it so valuable for so many different things. So I love it as like a diary of my rides. I love being able to explore different segments. And that was how I found all my local climbs when I first started riding. Even now I'll go and look, I wanna look what a climb looks like on Strava. I use it for like the power curve, all the, the power metrics on there that you can look and analyze things afterwards. I love seeing, like even if I'm not actually um, looking at my own ride. I love just going on and seeing where other people have ridden. I'm like, oh my God, that's an amazing ride. Like, I love the community of it. I love the positivity of it. And I just think it's a great, a great app, great website. I actually just really like it. So it's 55 pounds a year. Based on my ride, it's 22p per ride. But I do use it pretty much every day, whether looking at other people's rides, looking at segments, looking at different stats. So 55 pounds per year, works out at 15p per day. I think that's an absolute bargain for what you get for it. And the next one, I know you're gonna say it again, like Katie, we know, we know, shut up about it, but that is dates. And this is ride food. Best thing you can possibly take on a bike, and I'm gonna prove why. Because compared to say, I hate like gels, I just think they're expensive. I don't like dislike the taste, but I just think the cost, the packaging, and what you actually get, I'm gonna prove to you now why you should have dates on rides. Gels would cost around a pound. You get around like 22 grams of carbohydrates like per gel, which means if you're having 60 grams of carbs per hour, which is like the general guideline, that's three pounds per hour on gels. For dates, it's probably around 18 grams in per medual date. So I'm gonna say you're gonna need four. They work out around 26p each. So if you're gonna have four an hour, that's almost like a pound an hour. So if you're on that four hour ride, that's four pounds. So it's three times cheaper to have dates. Plus, dates have no excess packaging. And not only that, they have selenium, magnesium, calcium, potassium, copper, and other phytonutrients. By weight, they have 50% more potassium than bananas, and potassium is crucial to help control heart rate, breathing, and muscular function. So if you want a little extra boost to your rise and to your fitness and just all around good health, add some dates into your diet. So the next one is quad lock. I love this thing. So basically this is a phone case that you can then attach to different things. So I've got the one that fits onto my bike and for endurance rides, this is an absolute essential. I use it on all my endurance rides because I wanna be able to flick between like podcasts if I want to, or maybe like stop and message someone really easily. I, and I just don't like having it in my back pocket just because if I think if I come off, I don't want all that glass like hitting my back. So I just like having it on my bars and that's like the perfect way to mount it. So this costs 49.99. I've had it for, that, that cost is for the case and the actual um, mount for the bike. 
I've had it for three years. I've not put it on all my rides, I've just done it specifically on the endurance ones. So the cost of it is between like six and 10p per ride. However, I do have the one that you can attach in your car, so it charges up as you're driving. And I've also got another mount on my um, bike that I use when I'm on Zwift. So I actually use this every single day. So it is so valuable and yeah, I'll leave a couple of links below if you want to go and have a look. The next one is an absolute bargain and that is these. These are the Dida 01 handlebars and I love these things. They cost $21.99 and I bought them years ago when I needed to get narrower bars because I had a bike fit with Phil and just like I was having a bit of shoulder pain. So I got narrow ones. I didn't want to spend a lot because I was like, I don't know if it's going to make a difference. And I love these. And what I love about them is the actual shape of that. They're just so comfortable on the drops, on the tops. They weigh around 300 grams, so they're not the, they're not super light, but they're not really heavy either. I've worked out, I have bought um, a new set for the bike that I'm currently riding, so I've had that for two years. So they would cost 21 pounds, and they cost 0.042 pence per ride, which is phenomenal value. 100% highly recommend those. And the last one, and I know some of you might say, oh, that is really expensive, but I guess for me, this is things that I find the most valuable and I use this every ride. I rely on this thing every single ride for doing all my rides and you probably guessed. It's my Garmin Edge 1040 Solar. And I think Garmin in general, their head units, they're just, just invaluable because I realize like how much I rely on this, to, not only just to record my rides, but obviously to help me navigate places. Climb Pro, you know how much I love Climb Pro. I am, that alone for me is worth, the price of the head unit because it's just phenomenal. And also Climb Pro is on all their head units pretty much. I'm gonna put a list up of all of them, but it's like the, from the very basic Edge 130 plus all the way up to the 1040 Solar, which is the like top of the range model. I just, I just really value it, love it and get so much out of it. And I think it's because when I started riding, I was quite timid and I was scared about routes. And I remember saving up for the um, Edge 1000 and I when, I when I got that, it was just a massive, it just boosted my confidence so much because I was like, I can plan my own routes, I know where I'm going, I, tr I trust what the screen looks like. I think because the screen is so much kind of like, it's almost like it acts like a smartphone, um, it just gave me so much value, so much confidence and I, I guess you can't really put a price on that. Um, but we will put a price on it per ride. Um, because that's what this video is. So this, because I've only had it for a year and obviously these things will get better value for money the longer you have them. Done around 250 rides, it costs around 600 pounds. So it is two pound 40 per ride. And then when I think that, have I got two pound 50, even like the cough price, I don't even think, I don't even drink coffee, so I don't even know how much it is, but that's probably what, roughly the price of a coffee. Like that to me is worth it. However, if you did want a more affordable option, if you want, a, if you are looking for a head unit and you want one that's kind of like insane value for money, I would go for the Edge 530 because that's got so many of the same features as the 1040, but in a small unit. It's not touchscreen, but it's got Climb Pro. It's got um, so many features on there, and that's 260 pounds. So if I had that for a year, that would have been one pound per ride. I want to hear what your best value for money cycling items are in the comments. See if there's any that I've missed. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next video. Goodbye.